What is this? It's fluffy? This is supposed to be an Easter egg. This is definitely new territory. We've never done anything like this. We've done a whole lot of cakes, but never an Easter egg. So I've got two Easter eggs on here because I want to do the front and the back. I do want the whole thing to be made of chocolate. That is kind of important for me. So let me try to find something to do chocolate with. I don't want to make something that is too weird when it comes to the materials because then that's just annoying for them. However, I want to make something that is definitely going to be an Easter egg that they've never made before. I have a really hard time telling the difference between red and brown, so I hope this is not red, but you know. So this is going to be our Easter egg. Obviously, I'm gonna clean this up because this is just embarrassing. I'm no joking though. I actually really wanna do a good job with this. We're keeping it very classic. It's just dark chocolate. We're gonna make this spicy in terms of, I guess, the shape of it, not so much about the color and materials, because I don't want an Easter egg covered in fondant. That literally sounds like the only possible way to ruin this. So this one here is going to be the front of the Easter egg. I'm just gonna go straight for the idea that I've got in my head, and I'm going to apologize in advance. It's gonna be horrifying. In the very front, of my Easter egg. I basically want to do a giant face. I want this to be as creepy as possible. I want this to be an Easter egg that's going to make people uncomfortable. Mission accomplished. <laughs> I'm gonna do the eyeballs because it's gonna help me sort of locate where everything's gonna be. This is truly going to be something. I kind of want this to be like a 3D effect. Like the whole egg is the bunny. That's the face. That's that's why it's shaped like that, because that's the face of the bunny. I don't know if this is going to work out, but I have a vision. Very important. We're going to do the nose. That actually looks all right. This is possibly going to be my favorite part. That looks like... That looks like my dog. <laughs> I want to do giant Easter bunny teeth. When it comes to detail, I mean, this is already so strong because it's going to be huge. Uh, I'm not going to do much. As soon as you put eyeballs on something, it goes from Easter Bunny to most wanted on the FBI website. Okay, so when it comes to the actual coloring of this, because I want them to only use chocolate for this, I'm gonna try to go maybe a little bit lighter so they can use a milk chocolate, white chocolate, or a blend for the actual face. So this is, I'm just gonna go for basically a lighter brown and I'm not gonna color it all the way. Maybe we could go a little bit lighter, so if they want, they can use white chocolate or whatever. Obviously, we have to clean everything up. If you think that the bunny looks very sus, it's about to get lower. I'm gonna leave this very top of the Easter egg in dark chocolate, just in case they don't do the whole egg in white chocolate, because then that would be pretty boring. Like, the face wouldn't stand out as much. So we're gonna start by painting the teeth. I'm just gonna keep them white. I mean, it did occur to me to make the Easter Bunny have yellow teeth, but then I thought about the children. All the nightmares that I must have caused to children all over the world. I don't want to cause any more suffering, not in this not in this holiday anyways. We're gonna give the teeth a very crass, 3D really wide strips look. For the eyeballs, I'm thinking of going for blue and I kind of want them to look my goal is to make the Easter Bunny actually look terrifying. Could have done a pretty Easter egg with like birds and pastel colors, but here we are. I'm gonna try to intensify the eyes a little bit more so they really get like the hypnotic kind of look that I'm going for here. Like a very intense, horrifying. <laughs> Keep in mind that this is going to be huge, like so big. I'm gonna show you the molds, but this is going to be massive. To really give the eyes the final look. Like I want this to be as intense as possible. We're gonna add just a little bit of shine. I don't know how they're going to replicate this. I'm not gonna do any eyebrows or anything because I just want that. I want the eyes with like no expression, just on like an Easter egg. So I'm gonna try to add a little bit of dimension just so, I don't know if they're gonna do the whole thing, like the face structure in like 3D, but I want them to understand that there's, layers to this. So for the nose, I'm gonna keep it very simple. We're just gonna do pink. I guess we can make it a little darker on the corner. And then I guess a little brighter around here. I like it. It makes me uncomfortable, 100%. But art should make us uncomfortable. I'm the new Banksy, except 
on Easter eggs. The last thing I'm gonna do, and this is just me being really, really annoying, I do not expect them to go to this level of detail, but I thought it would be really cool if we just, just three of them, and I have no idea. They can, they can just leave it out. I wouldn't be upset. I love the fact that the face takes advantage of the shape of the egg, like the head actually goes back. For the back, I kind of want to continue like the 3D effect. So I want obviously the top of the head to kind of make sense. So this is basically going to be just a back view of exactly what we've done in the front, which I think it's gonna be fine. I kind of wanted to do 3D ears on the Easter egg, sort of like sticking out and everything, but I think that's too difficult. I don't think they're gonna be able to make that out of chocolate and then attach it. So I wanna manage my expectations. I mean, if they do it, I would be mind blown. Obviously the Easter bunny needs ears, so I'm just gonna put them in the back. They're still there. It's still anatomically correct. It's just hidden. This makes sense somehow in my head. Okay, so I'm gonna try and color it basically the same color as the front. And maybe we're gonna do the ears just a little bit lighter, just so they understand this is like, I don't know if they're gonna do it in 3D or whatever they want to do. But I think my vision is translating, is this, should I be doing this? Probably not, but it is kind of what I was hoping. I was thinking that we never see the back of the Easter bunny, sometimes just a fluffy tail, but that seems to expect it. So I thought that we should just uh, give the Easter Bunny some underwear. And if the Easter Bunny was wearing underwear, what would they look like? There's such thing as an Easter Bunny community. They are going to come for me very heavily after this, but this is going to be my Easter Bunny. <laughs> Somehow that makes sense with my 3D, that's the whole shape, like the bottom of it needs to be round. What's round? An Easter Bunny butt. We're gonna make this underwear very like family friendly, so don't worry. I don't know if we should do this in pastel or something to make this fully Easter themed. I think there's one thing missing here just to fully make this the highlight of the people who are going to make this. Like they're never going to forget this. Just a little bit of detail. <laughs> it actually works with the roundness of the egg though. Like I'm not crazy, like this is, Genius, I can't believe no one's ever done this before. I do think we need a little bit of detail again. So I'm gonna try to do it in this color. Just, I don't think you can miss it at this point. Like this is clearly a butt and a little bit of detail here as well. If my high school art teacher saw me now, I think she would actually be surprised that it did not go as, as bad as expected. <laughs> this is a great butt contour. I do a lot of things wrong but contouring this butt i did right also kim kardashian's plastic surgeon we're gonna make this a little more tasteful i've never in my life i've wished more that i could be a fly on the wall but to be at these people's bakery when they receive the order to fully solidify this and sort of tie it in with the front i'm gonna use the pink from the nose and we're going to make um this i guess family friendly now, like this is supposed to be that step. Do you know when they draw um, underwear in cartoons? That's kind of what I'm going for, just so that the bakery see the humor in this. If the bakeries don't accept this, I'm gonna be really disappointed. I mean, we haven't zoomed out and we're about to, so we're gonna see the full effect. I wouldn't describe this as inappropriate. More like ergonomic? Easter egg feng shui. So this is the underwear, I'm not gonna put any more detail. This was funny for a moment, and now I feel like this is slightly inappropriate. I'm like, I'm gonna just pixelate this whole thing. This is the big moment. We're going to zoom out, and this is going to be the custom Easter egg that two people are going to make for us. Three, two... Why is this not working? I love it. It's exactly what I saw in my head. It takes advantage of the roundness for the face in the front, all edges of this Easter egg make sense. The ears, we kind of made them work out. It's simple enough in terms of color, but the shape is there. It's recognizable, weird. I like it. Would I gift this to a child? Probably not. This is supposed to be the front. I'm gonna write it because I'm actually not going to communicate with the people who are going to make this. And here is going to be the back. And the most important thing that I think is going to make this video take this to the next level is trying to make this pretty so you know the greatest thing about this is that we are going to request that they include a random surprise 
inside. This is going to really allow us to see the difference between the places we're going to make the eggs. Not only we can judge them on the design of the egg, but also is it gonna be food? Is it gonna be an actual pair of <laughs> Easter Bunny underwear? The possibilities are endless and I think this is gonna be the greatest part about this video. I have no idea how I'm supposed to sleep knowing that this is going to be made into a reality. Happy Easter. So the Easter eggs are officially in my house right now. I have not seen them. They're sitting in a very cold room because melting would be the worst thing to happen in this video. So I'm being very careful, but I really need to show you what's in this bag. When I reached out to these one star and five star rated bakeries, because they don't specialize in Easter eggs, they have done it before, but very tiny ones. So they could only make a very small Easter egg. And I think looking at my design, this needs to be seen in 4K. <laughs> it needs to be seen in high definition. We're taking this to like 12K. I reached out to them and I said, let me take care of this. I will find a perfect sized mold for the Easter eggs. This took me like five days on eBay until I found something that I felt like this is the right size. This has been shipped from friends all the way to my house and from my house to the bakeries. Also, this was so expensive that I'm not even, we're not even gonna talk about this. So this is the size of the Easter eggs that we've ordered. On camera, this is not even, it's not even doing justice to the size of this. This is the size of the Easter eggs that we are going to receive. I honestly think the camera is not doing justice to this, but this is so big. I think this came from a French chocolate here or something. I don't know how you call it, but people who actually make sculptures out of chocolate. So this was used before. That's why it's all scratched up. Give this video a like if you guys think I should just do one of these myself. Like that would be, that would be content. I'm going to go to the other room and I'm going to get the five star rated Easter egg. We're going to see it. We're going to find out what's inside. So many things. Wow. This is like the second most exciting thing that's ever happened on Easter. Right after Jesus coming back to life. I mean, he set the bar quite high. Okay, so I really hope this fits in frame because this is, I was expecting big, but this is possibly even bigger than I was expecting. Before I show you the Easter egg, I just want to say that the price for both Easter eggs was exactly the same. So the price for this video is kind of irrelevant. It literally comes down to what it looks like and maybe the taste, but all chocolate tastes good. Three. Two, one. Wait a second, I can't see anything. Oh my god. Oh my god. I can't see the butt though. It's got things around it. Brownies, cookies. I didn't ask for any of this. You guys need to see this in full definition. So let me try to unwrap this. Secure, it definitely is. It is so well wrapped. It's just as horrifying as I was expecting. Also me when I show up to a Tinder date. Oh, it's cracked and it's not butt crack. How can I move this if it's already broken? I don't know if you'll be able to see, but in the back there's like a crack, like it's cracked here. Oh my God, if this breaks, I'm literally gonna be so sad. It's moving. Oh my God, oh my God, I've done it. Oh my God. Butt reveal. Oh my God, and it has a stand. So I think this might stand. Oh my God, it's beautiful. The budget in this basket alone, it comes with double chocolate chip cookies, brownies, more cookies, they're really putting the budget in here. I have no <laughs> This is like the best Easter ever. They really put in the details, like the colors. It stems. I haven't even seen the full front. <laughs> this is everything I wanted and more. It's got junk in the trunk. <laughs> they didn't do the butt crack. Clearly they wanted to make it a little more family friendly. You know, they did a different interpretation of the crack. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there is a crack. I've never said crack so many times in my life. The eyes, are you kidding me? <laughs> Nobody, my sleep paralysis demon. Because my lenses are really weird. My camera lenses, sometimes it's difficult to understand the full size of something because things look really small in here. But this is, it's like massive. Oh my God, that is horrifying. This is exactly what I wanted though. 
Oh, the teeth! Like, the eyes look just as crazy as I wanted them to look. I'm really curious to see what's gonna be on the inside. I think I'm gonna do that at the end, because I need to at least get a photo with this. So let me show you the back, so you guys see the full detail. They've done the ears in 3D, so as you can see, this is like some fondant or something. I mean, it's holding pretty well. They didn't really do the butt details. They didn't do the painting in like a lighter shade of chocolate, but I, I fully get it. I mean, this must have been a lot of work on its own. I could not be any happier with this. This is just as creepy as I wanted. Happy Easter. I could just sit here and watch this until it fully melts, which is probably gonna be like five minutes. I don't know if you guys can see, but on top of the head, they've done the little hairs that we've designed. I mean, the detail is really good. Even the underwear, I don't even know what you call it, the fabric details that I've done. Oops, we lost a heart. We've lost many hearts with this video. Come on. Don't forget to like this video, right? Wow, this is incredible. I'm... Well, there goes my heart. Let me do a zoom in. I hope you guys can see all the details. I mean, we really need to do like a side by side with the design that we've made. The face expression is a little bit on the cute side. I was going more for creepy, but obviously this looks a lot better. Like I fully get it. They've done the whiskers, the nose, the colors are right. I thought they would maybe spray it in like a lighter color or maybe just use white chocolate, but this is great. I love it just the way it is. I think the whole thing is being held together by fondant. And then the back, Surprise. <laughs> this is putting a whole new meaning in surprise kinder egg. On my design, I kind of did lighter areas, darker areas, so that it really looks like a butt, like the Easter bunny butt, but they probably thought it was inappropriate, which it was. The detail on the underwear, it's really cool, the hearts, and they've done the ears in 3D, which I wasn't expecting. That's why I put them in the back so that it would be easier for them. So I'm really happy about that. It is cracking, but it's holding together. So I have no complaints. As long as this holds together until we can grab a hammer and see what's on the inside. And now that's gonna be the best part of this. I've got tears in my eyes. That's how beautiful this is. I'm really nervous for the one star and I wasn't even the one who made these. This is gonna be tough. So right here, we've got the one star rated Easter egg. And I just wanna say, this one feels a lot taller. It might be the box, but I can't really look at it. So I don't really know how I'm going to reveal this one. Exactly the same design as the five star one, but this time around from a one star rated bakery. Three, two, That looks like Totoro! That looks just like Totoro! This is really good! It's like its own aesthetic. This is not what I've done, but it's really good as well! The butt! <laughs> They've done the butt crack! You guys are not ready for the butt crack reveal. <laughs> They've done like a fluffy tail and the underwear, but then if you look closely, they've also done the butt crack, just very, very tiny. Wow, this is like solid. They've added so many details that we did not request. Like the eyes have got eyelashes. There's a full, there's a full belly made of white chocolate. I mean, this is gonna taste delicious, but it's so beautiful. Like this must have been a lot of work as well. They probably didn't have the exact skills to make what we requested, but they have the skills to make whatever this is. They've done a base as well. And they've done this with like this really cool fabric. This looks like an Easter egg made by a grandma. A grandma who also is not bothered by a butt crack. The butt crack is there, and to me that's like 100 points to Gryffindor. This is like Dumbledore at the end of the year. 200 points for Harry Potter for breathing. <laughs> There's no other way to describe this. It's an ugly, beautiful Easter egg. This chocolate is so smooth. I think temper the chocolate, something like that. Like it's a specific technique to get the chocolate to be shiny and not matte. I don't really know what I'm talking about. That's just at least what I think, but this chocolate feels like better quality than the other one. It's not cracking anywhere. There is an area here where there's been a little accident, I think. It's melted a little bit on here, or maybe it's like the stitching, maybe this was like cracking. But overall, there's not a single crack. It's perfect, it's smooth. Construction-wise, I think this is the winner. I am disappointed that this is not little hearts on the underwear, but like this is like a, a G-string? <laughs> 
Is that a thing? It's a very revealing kind of underwear. It's very confusing. The aesthetic is saying grandma, the front is saying grandma. The back is saying something else. <laughs> the whiskers are 3D, they're like sticking out, actually coming out of the egg. I need to zoom in so you guys can see the details. Doing a side by side with this one is going to be interesting because I don't think this is going to look like my drawing at all because I basically wanted the front to be the full face and this is very much, there's the face, there's the body. It literally looks like Totoro. It's a lot of detail, just not what I wanted. I mean, they've done the hair, which actually looks really cool. Let me see. There's like little pieces of hair on top. So, I mean, there is a lot of detail. The base is really cool. This definitely looks better than the other one. It's very Eastery with the print and everything. And the chocolate, I do have to say this chocolate feels like higher quality. It looks cute and I wanted it to look horrifying. Like I wanted the big eyes like this size. This is some kind of weird frosting that is like dry. The back is really interesting because they really went, they did the underwear and the butt crack like we wanted. Just that little V there, that's exactly what we wanted. They didn't do the heart, so they did a fully different pattern and it does look a little bit messy or whatever But I feel like that's kind of I think people either gonna hate this one or love it I think I love it. It's a bizarre Easter egg. It takes you a while to take it all in on this corner here We definitely did not request that but it's it's like a flower very Eastery print which actually looks really cool Like I'm not mad about that at all. They've done the ears in white chocolate Which is actually what I was expecting even from the other one. It's definitely different from the other one. I love it as well No extra brownies, no extra cookies, which I wasn't expecting, but that was definitely plus with the other one. What do you guys think the surprise is? Should we shake it? No, we should definitely not. I need to get something heavy, maybe like a hammer to break into these, which is going to be sad, but also incredibly satisfying. We kind of see the differences when it comes to the looks, but a very important request for this video was that I wanted a surprise inside and I didn't specify what it is, but to me, that's the most fun of Easter eggs is when they come with something inside. So I'm gonna get something heavy and we're gonna break into these and see what the surprise is. I couldn't find a hammer, but I found one of these, this is like a giant drill. So, I mean, this is gonna be even more effective. I wanted the Easter Bunny to look slightly creepier so I wouldn't feel sad about beating it, but oh, I can't do it, okay. One, two. Okay, this is getting satisfying now. Oh. Oh my god. Wait, let me just remove. This is pretty solid. Like, are you kidding me? Half of it is still standing. <gasps> it's full of things on the inside. First of all, this chocolate is actually saying things. Should we taste the chocolate already and just get it out of the way? It's dark chocolate. It's pretty good. It actually tastes like good quality dark chocolate. I was thinking the other one is gonna be better. There isn't much better dark chocolate than this. I personally prefer milk chocolate, but this is, I like it. It's like, as far as our chocolate goes, this is as really good, like it's really sweet. So let's find out what's actually on the inside. This is like Christmas. It's wrapped up, I mean, this is really good. So this, it's a Roblox, it's a Roblox figure. I've never played Roblox before. I know it's a highly requested thing on my channel, but maybe this is it. Maybe this, maybe this is the universe telling me to listen to you guys. I think these are expensive, right? Someone will let me know the price of the Roblox figures. The standard for Easter eggs, at least in Europe, is the Kinder Easter eggs. And this is already better than anything you get inside. It comes with a little Roblox action figure. It is, wow, there's a lot of Roblox. I honestly can't see it in here. Wow, there's more on the back. This is Time Clash and Newbies Warrior. So let's see what's on this one. I hope it's money. Me every birthday. Okay, so this is, it's a Mario Kart action figure. So I feel like if you're into like nerd culture stuff, this is really cool actually. This one is uh, a Hot Wheels. I haven't seen one of those in a while. I really appreciate that they actually went and took the time. We <laughs> we've got a Barbie doll. I mean, they're really covering all bases here. This is incredible. I cannot believe they actually put this much stuff in it. And these are like brand new. These are not recycled. They still got these rubber bands and stuff. We've got another Barbie doll. I mean, it's not an official Barbie, but it's close enough. The one star doesn't even stand a chance against this. We've got a ball, an angry ball, 
Salem is gonna love this one. <laughs> Next up, we've got... This is like an Easter decoration. Two little Easter bunnies made of eggs, eggshells. I mean, they've covered all bases. They've got nerdy toys, cars, dolls, Easter decorations, anything that you could potentially expect from an Easter egg, they've done it. So this is literally a miniature version of my car. That's really weird. This is literally what my car looks like, except maybe slightly lighter the color of it. That's my favorite one so far because this is another ball, just in a different color. Can you believe the insane amount of stuff they put in here? The budget is being used for this video. This is incredible. And there's more. Oh my god, I love these! I haven't seen one of these in so long. Okay, this is not sanitary next to chocolate, but I couldn't help it. Like, this made me so happy. We've got a race car. I mean... Ooh, this is like a Back to the Future kind of car. I don't know, I've never seen the movie. <laughs> and last but not least, this is the biggest one, which is... A rotary sharpener? I don't own a pencil. I'm gonna sharpen my Apple Pencil with this. Everyone who was cool in school always had one of these. I've never had one. Wow. I couldn't have expected anything else. Design, 5 out of 5. Construction, 5 out of 5. Like, this looks incredible. And all the stuff inside, 15 out of 5. I was expecting one thing. They've put, like, 15 different things inside. Easter is turning into Christmas real quick. This one feels extra wrong because it's like I'm hitting decoration work, so it feels really weird to do this. Also, this one is extra shiny. It's obviously gonna be difficult to match the other one, but we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna try to hit it in the same spot, kind of like in the eye. This one's tough. This is not going anywhere. See if you can see it. Oh, frosting and chocolate going everywhere. This is like it's so smooth on both sides. Oh, it's really holding well. Wow. Is that it? Is that a chicken? Is that a doggy on the inside? Second rule. It's about the same uh, thickness as the other one. This one looks a little more like professional. Shiny on both sides, which I think it's difficult to do with chocolate. I don't know, like someone please correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, but it's also dark chocolate, so. It literally tastes the same. It is exactly the same. This could be the same Easter egg. Let me see if I can get rid of this a little bit here. Oh, I can. It's like an incubator or something. Like, what is this? It's fluffy? It's, it's a bunny. bunny. It's a bun inside a bunny. Is it a blankie? Wow, the Debris. First of all, a Rubik's Cube, which I've never owned a Rubik's Cube before. This is great. But the best part about this, <laughs> I have no words. It's a bunny. Inside a bunny! I know the other one was a lot of stuff, but this one is just... This is a really clever idea because it's super Easter themed. I don't know the person who made this personally, but like I feel like this was made by a grandma and a grandma just gave me a stuffed toy. This makes sense as well as like something to put inside the toy. And also this is huge. Imagine pulling this out of an Easter egg. <laughs> oh, this makes things really, really difficult. I wanted to show you this because this is a visual representation of what was inside both Easter eggs. So on the five star side, I mean, we literally had everything. I also included the cookies and the brownies and these are definitely homemade. So, I mean, it is a bakery, but I still really appreciate the effort into including other edible items. Like that is really, really cool. This would have made like three different children happy, like not just one. So I really like that. Then on the one star side, we've got a Rubik's cube and Mr. Whiskers. The five star looked exactly like my drawing, like side by side, it was very, very similar. It had a very similar look. The full front was the face. While the one star, 
it wasn't the same. It wasn't exactly what I wanted, which is explain some of their reviews because people can get disappointed if, if what you're asking for is not exactly the same. Even though my favorite thing possibly of the whole video is Mr. Whiskers that I'm going to keep, I'm going to say that it would be unfair if we didn't pick the five star as the winner because it's just... The look was incredible, it looked professional, and also it looked exactly like what we asked. And then on the inside they went and did all of this, and then when it comes to the flavor, not only the easter egg tasted as good as this one, but it had the extra of the brownies, of the cookies, which which we can't ignore. So if I do the calculations and give points, even Mr. Whiskers getting some extra points, the winner has to be the five star. It was very close. This was one of the greatest, one of the greatest one versus five star videos we've ever had. Like there was no disappointments to the point where I was sitting here for 20 minutes choosing the winner and I'm still not entirely sure. I still have this giant like mold and I think we should do something with this. So let me know if you guys maybe want me to give this a try. Give the video a like if you'd like to see that. If you don't want to see that then just leave leave the like button alone. If you don't want to miss that or miss my future videos in general, please don't forget to subscribe and switch my notifications on. A special thank you as usual to those of you who've got my notifications on. Thank you for watching the video. I love you guys and I will see you on my next video. Bye bye.